Hey guys, I just got back from watching Cloud Atlas and it was epic. It was emotional. It was intelligent. It was interesting. Interesting. It was almost up to par with the Matrix. And it is really up to the Matrix. And we'll get back to that. The first thing I would like to talk about is the stories. The stories evolve around, I believe, five peoples and how their life interact with each other throughout the, throughout the 100 years or 200 years into the futures. How their choices really almost affect each other in a way. The characters are really believable and they're really emotionally attached to each other. They have a reason, they have a drive, they have this sort of connection to the universe almost. They have this, the need to know the truth, to know that something is not right with society, to know that something is wrong with the system. And the character does a really good job. Tom Hanks characters show his vulnerability, show his his psyche, show his craziness, show his pityness, and he really he does a really good job. And Halle Berry, she does a wonderful job of this young innocent reporters, and I felt that she really portrayed that really good. And then the other was the uh, the two the two lovers, and I felt that I felt the the deep connection those two guys have to each other's. Um, there is a scene where, well, I'll leave it. I'll get to the the scenes. Then you have the uh, the old British man, and he's probably my favorite characters my favorite characters other than the other one except for Tom Hanks because that's important but he is a very good actor he show the quirkiness the uh the liveliness the uh, innocent of of being old the innocent of he had lost something that was beautiful and was 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 just beautiful that he cared about and I really like that character a lot because he showed what we have forgotten and now we have found. There's another episode I'm gonna do on that on that too. But that's for later. The characters are great. The characters show the human side. It shows that we can be mean, we can be cruel, we can be good, we can show compassion. This has the the whole palette of emotion, a whole palette of uh, of thinking, a whole palette of different actions. So I thought that was really, really, really good because it's, we do make those kind of choices every single day without knowing. When you drive, do you make a left or do you make a right, right or left? Or do you stop or do you run? decide to run over that guy you know those those kind of decision making is very human now to the 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 good things about I like about this movie is the the visual the the uh the style you know the the style of back in the 70s the styles of um the different air the, basically the different eras the different eras throughout time you know like the the uh the new england area you know the uh english style and then you have the 70s and then you have the 2000 and then you have the future and you have the aboriginal and you have the different kind of all societies so all those uh points of markers in in histories and that was really, they did a really good job of showing that. And another good thing was they, they, 
they were not afraid to show behind behind the uh, the curtains behind the curtain and I'll give you an example of uh, our characters uh, she have gone out as I got out of a mega city that's why I like to call it mega city and she goes to this factory where all these clones dies where they basically get killed and they get skin alive and then they get their body hung hang up like uh, pork and this is probably the far most disturbing scene because it really is a reflection of our society I mean if you go to a, uh, a butcher's or a slaughterhouse it's basically like that and it really it is the most disgusting and most disturbing scene but it is they were not afraid to show that because we need to see that we need to know that this is happening behind closed curtain even though we don't want to know that our chicken is being slaughtered but we need to know that there, this process ha does happen and that and they are not afraid to show that and another thing was the the, 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 the feeling that you are involved in the movie you follow these characters and you get involved in their life and that's what I like about it because that's the whole point of the movie is to 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 follow this, these characters to to see what they see to s smell what they smell to to uh, to witness their love to witness their downfall to witness the the uh, the fright the, uh, the the near death and that's the whole goal of a movie is to you want this you want to experience what the character experience isn't that the whole reason why you go to a movie that is the reason you want to experience it and it is important and because you are paying money for it, that's why. Uh, now I'm gonna go to into this, the the bad things. Um, the bad thing was uh the the stories. Um, you know it was really hard to follow. You know the different characters going there because they go back and forth, back and forth, and then they it was hard to follow. You know it was just like. Let me just get one story, but they had this purpose. It was really hard for me to follow. I'm sure a lot of the other people was having problem following. Maybe it's just me, but overall, it was it was just you know I wish it was just linear. I'm my type of guy. I like linears, but you know the the story was you know it was about these people and that they were going through time. these people that they experienced a uh, problem throughout. The different periods of, of histories so that was kind of confusing and another bad thing was a bad there isn't really a hard bad thing I can think of right now at the moment because I just got back and then I'm still pondering inside of my mind uh, another thing was it's a little bit a little bit long a little bit long and that's my only gripe is can you know shorten up a little bit you know but that was the only two things I could think of right now and I might make another video because this movie required more than one viewing and I'll tell you that a fact it's the same thing as Matrix more than one viewing and the more you watch it the more it will come to you and that's Essentially, I think that's what the directors and the writers hoping for you to do is to come back, to watch it, to question, to interpret, to, to think, to think about how to, to think and to apply to the real life society. And that's, and they achieved that goal. You know, it got me thinking like, why did we do this? Why are we so horrible? Why did we do certain things? And, and the director had to achieve that. More likely, the writer who wrote the the novel achieves that goal. Um, now I'm gonna talk about the the scene that I found most either beautiful, um, interesting, just basically interesting. But my 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 first one would be the uh, um, well, there's only a few scenes. 
the 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 disturbing scene I thought was it was disturbing and interesting and and um uh, controversial one can say is that where she goes to this butcher shop basically a human slaughterhouse you can say is where they, they kill these clones and they hang these clones upside down and they skin them alive I thought that was very uh, disgusting uh, I didn't think that you know we can do this to a clone to others that were so was so cruel and was like the lowest or lowest even worse than a, a beetles we're worse than an ant we're even worse than in dirt you know that was most disturbing but it was it, it had some truth in it you know as I say earlier it had some truth truth in it and another scene was Is the oh there was many different scenes it was the part where the guy had uh, shot himself and I thought it was like wow you know he he finally couldn't take it and he shot himself and he was the guy who who wrote the song Cloud Atlas he wrote the song. In cooperation with the other guy, but he was the one who wrote it and played it, and I felt bad because he never got got to say goodbye to his 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 boyfriend, his lover, and now it's like it's just so sad, you know, that we should have a happy have a good happy ending, but in real life, this isn't always like that. We break ups, we move on, we forget. And then the other scene was my favorite scene is the whole part with the old English man. I mean, I thought his his story was the most built, the most developed, the most uh, funny side of the stories. And the others are, you know, very adult, really, you know, serious. But his was more. Childhood, like, it was more, it was just, you know, it was just joyful. It was just, just, you know, nerdy old publish, English publisher. And he was so, he was so lively. And he was just, and he had, he had to get out of the mental house. I'll tell you about that too. And that was really interesting how they got out. Check that out when you get to see it. And you know what I'm talking about. And the other scenes are um, where Tom Hanks characters at the beginning see this this blue figure, this black figures, and he's constantly talking to him, like harassing him, like it it was in his face. And I was like, you know, this remind me of uh, if you ever seen the movie Passion of the uh, of Christ, another movie. Where the devil is just constantly talking to Jesus, and Jesus is like trying to cast him off, cast him off, trying to drive him away, and it kind of brought that, you know, prophet, that whole, you know, that mentality, and then it could be open to interpretation, you know, it could be his own subconscious, his own mentality, it's telling him that, you know, to subvert him, and and it could be, and that's the thing about this movie is that it's open to interpretation. You can make assumption. You can make interpret it. You can interpret it the way you want to. So, and and another interesting thing was another scene was the the clone that had worked at the restaurant, and she finally got the gut to actually you know leave her place uh, when the guy came in and killed one of the uh, the manager there at the restaurant. And uh, he he told her he told her that you know you gotta come with me. If you don't, they're gonna kill you. And she she finally finally do it. And I thought that was it was interesting because that was really symbolic to me because you know how they always to me is that you should not be a sheep. You should be a wolf and be your own person. You know, don't be a wolf. Because if you'd be a wolf, you would never learn. You would never, ever 
be happy. You will never ever see the truth. And this is what this movie is about, is the truth. The truth, that's open to interpretation too. Uh, there's a lot of open interpretation in this movie. And that's what I take from this. This movie was ultimately about be who you are, be who you want to be, despite of all the all the um, the uh, opposed the, the factors are fighting against you, and this this what the movie is about is who you are and who where you want to be, who you want to be with, and standing by them for what you believe, which is kind of ironic because we're in the you know the election is coming up in two weeks, and um, so that's is really. Follow your guts, follow your hearts, and do what you believe that's right. And I strongly believe in that. So, I've gone along talking too long. So guys, this is my improv to my after the movie, watch after watching the movie review. It's like five o'clock in the morning. So I'm really tired. I gotta work about at nine o'clock. So please leave a note. Leave a comment, subscribe, help a brother out, and I will do the same. And I will provide more content for you guys. Well, take care. Oh, I forgot. Actually, I I forget about one thing. The grading. I think. Well, I did, I give this this movie a four out of five bananas. Um, definitely, I'm tossing this movie four bananas at, at the screens. So please, like I said. Drop the comments, begin some discussion, and I'll, I'll start doing my own discussion down there too. So please do what you gotta do best is like it, like my videos, okay? Take care, have a good night, actually, good morning, enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend. Bye.